Number Hello. eight, educate yourself. Yeah. So when people do things that are annoying, ironically, as we were just talking, <laughs> it, you know, it might be they've got a hidden disability. And it, it gives a couple of examples here on, you know, social skills or, or not aware of personal space, you know, linked to things like Asperger's syndrome. Um, you know, there might be reasons you you find things abrasive, annoying about people that actually they're not even aware of. Again, it's that they're not doing it to you to be annoying. It might be something that is not even on their radar um it's again it's the, it's the not about you thinking you know are you in a shop and someone's just completely cut you up with their trolley as you're walking through but then what's going on with that person's life have they just had some really bad news are they struggling financially have they got loads of work worries on their minds all, all those things that mean they're not even aware of what they just did they're just on a bad day when you don't happen to be and give that you know why not assume that is the case and not judge that person and actually go out of your way to not make them feel bad about it um, which again is is completely against those human nature fight or flight things, but that's part. That's a big part. And actually, I will say that behaviours in a shop is one of those things I use as a training method for myself on this whole non judgmental thing. Were you saying that actually last night I went to see Avatar and was in, you know, when you're in a rush and you go to pictures and you're in a rush, and I was at the tour at Nando's, and usually I go, oh, look, they say, no, who's next, whatever. And actually I was there, but, you know, I usually say, oh, well, let someone else go next. And then I just jumped in, I'm next, you know, like, and I thought, and I went back and I thought, oh, I really should have let them go first. Because it was almost like that feeling of, and that's that, in, in my life, what was going on is that I needed to get out of there. But that person yeah. not necessarily realised it, but I could always, almost sense that, hang on, what, you know, whether I'm judging myself, you know, going back to the judgment thing, or whether they did think that, who knows, we'll never know. But I felt bad because of it. And I thought, oh, I should have done that. I should have let them, let them go in before me. So you've again, got, this, did... is, this is where the training comes in, Joe, because don't presume they did judge you. Yeah. They yeah. didn't care. So that, this is where yeah. you've got to be non, you don't That's presume it. the judgment and then you don't put out the judgment. So, and I've yeah. had a few situations like this where there are things where I would have threaded over an interaction where actually I'm like, no, I'm sure it's good. And it's t it's tough to do, but it does get you to a very, very good place. Also, yeah. if you go into the pictures, was it 1926 or something? Oh, sorry. Nice. The movies. Oh, nice. sorry. The main mechanism. Oh, the, the, the cinema. I went to the that flicks. One? I went to the I went, flicks last night. I went to the talkies. It wasn't one of those with the guy at the front on the piano. You could hear the words and everything. <laughs> <laughs>